Today we're going to talk about how to really help out those pitiful, pitiful speakers on flat screen TVs and turn pretty much any TV into something that sounds like a complete surround sound system. Some new speakers by Polk, Polk Audio, might have heard of them. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a pretty big fan of some good audio. A lot of these TVs nowadays, due to the fact that they keep getting thinner and thinner and thinner, the speakers kind of suffer a lot. I just really like when I'm watching a movie or even normal TV to have that immersive sound. Today we're going to be talking about this new speaker that Polk Audio released, the brand new Polk Audio Command Bar. A lot of people don't want a whole surround sound system where you're having to run wires to speakers behind you, then you got the trouble of trying to hide those wires and blah, blah, blah. It can be a hassle. I really enjoy surround sound, you know, the whole 5.1 experience, but it is a bit of a investment. It is a bit of a hassle. It would be nice if somebody came out with something that kind of gave you very full, nice, immersive sound without having to go through all that. And that's where this fits in the kind of ballpark for Polk Audio. And at the price of 299 bucks for everything, which if you've ever looked at buying amps and surround sound speakers and stuff, you could spend more than that just on the amp alone. For size reference, Big Daddy Kane. If you don't know who Big Daddy Kane is, you can yourself okay it's only two inches thick and they did that on purpose so that you can put it under your tv if you don't have your tv wall mount if it's just on a stand it's low enough that it's not going to interfere with the screen it's going to be below not interfere with your remotes or anything like that where they lacked in height they certainly made far up in, in width. It is like 43 inches long. So this is a 2.1 system. So that means you're gonna have a right and left channel and a subwoofer, which this does come with a subwoofer, which we'll go over in just a few minutes. Another awesome feature of this thing. In this bar, you're gonna have two mids. They're gonna be one by three oval mids in here. And then you're also gonna have one inch tweeters for your highs. They also put this really cool little port I don't know if you can see that. I'll maybe insert some B-roll here. They put this port here uh, on either end of this thing. It helps give this thing a nice, round, full sound to it. I've listened to certain sound bars before where they call it an all-in-one sound bar, but the sound bar is not real wide, which it's kind of hard to get a 2.1 experience where you're wanting to hear left and right sounds independently when they're super close together. Well, with this big, long, bad boy, uh, I mean, you can clearly hear stuff on this side of the screen or something that goes from this side to this side. You clearly hear the sound move from one speaker to the other and it really gives you that kind of immersive surround sound experience. The other thing that helps with that is the wireless subwoofer this thing comes with. It is a 6.5 inch subwoofer with a port. It's running at 50 watts continuous or it has a max output of 100 watts. This guy right here, see? Ah, uh, Polk Audio. It's very nice. The cool thing about this is that it's completely wireless. Uh, I mean, you've got to have a plug for it, obviously, to have power. But other than that, it hooks to the, the command bar completely wirelessly, and so you can put it anywhere in the room you want. They made this thing big enough to where you get good bass response on it. It sounds good. It's got that nice deep bass, but it's small enough and thin enough that you can slide it in between a console and a couch, or you can really put it anywhere. With it being wireless, the possibilities are endless. The system in all can put out over 100 decibels. It really, really does put out some major sound. <laughs> Now, going around to the back of this guy right here, you do have a port for your power cord. You have a USB. You have two HDMI's back here. You have an HDMI out going to your TV. And then you have an optical. I really like the way they did this cutout in the back, right? So all your cords are kind of recessed in this cutout, which allows this thing to sit really flat, all your cords to have a nice spot to pop out. But something else they did that's really cool is the way this is positioned here. Now what that allows you to do is, got your Amazon Fire Stick, you can plug a Fire Stick in, boop, right there. And see how that fits just nice and flush? And they included a USB port, so you don't have to have that big old brick on your Fire Stick. You can just plug this in, 
and this USB port supplies all the power you need. So right there, an all-in-one solution, you got your fire stick that's all tucked in very nicely right here, and it plugs in right here. We all know that behind the console it looks like a friggin' rat's nest from how many plugs you have back there. You're saving a plug, that's valuable real estate, and it's keeping everything just neat and tidy. It's all right here. I thought that was a cool feature, I liked it. They also package this thing with a six foot optical and a six foot HDMI. This is 4K capable. It does have HDR pass through. So all the new stuff coming out, all the 4K TVs and HDR and all that crap, all very compatible with this bad boy. And you know, I just really like the way it looks. I think it looks really sleek. It looks really good on a console under a flat screen TV. It all looks very modern. And now to the features, the elephant in the room. The thing that I have not been talking about, but is pretty obvious I would think. What's that little dude right there look like? I'll give you a hint. Look what's right next to the Polk symbol. Amazon Echo. This thing, on top of all the other cool stuff we've been talking about, has an Amazon Echo built into an Echo Dot built into it. I don't mean like it's compatible. I mean like these guys worked with Amazon for like two years to completely incorporate an actual Echo Dot into this. I mean, it looks just like, I don't know if you have an Echo Dot, you ever seen one. I mean, that's basically the dude just popped down in there. I thought that was pretty damn snazzy. Um, I mean, the exact same button layout. It's got your light ring, just like an Amazon dot. It's got the up and down, the mute, the, f I mean, it's the exact, I mean, look at that, look at that. It's the exact same thing. This guy is your all-in-one solution, your Echo, your home assistant, or whatever you want to call it. It's your surround sound. It's your streaming device if plugged in. It's, it's kind of everything. You've got your voice command. So instead of having to use a remote to control it, you can do cool stuff like ask for a particular director's movies and it will pull all that stuff up for you. Show me Quentin Tarantino's movies. Getting Quentin movies from Fire TV. Ask for a particular movie. Turn the volume up and down. You can do all these things voice activated without ever having to get near a remote. It still does have a remote. Uh, it's a pretty snazzy remote, I might add. Kind of cool because it like it's all like I don't know if you can see it, but it there is no buttons. It's all kind of integrated under like a sheet of rubbery stuff. If you got kids. Have you ever seen like the crumbs and nasty crap that can di get down in the crevices and lint and grossness that can get down in a remote after years and years of use? This is hygienic, the clean for OCD people remote. It's a super nice remote. It's got a wake button. So if the sound is up so loud and you're just really just rocking out or you've got a crazy loud action movie going at max volume and the explosion and you're trying to wake you know who and you can't because the damn movie's so loud that it can't hear you, you can just hit that button and that does interrupt it so that you can give the command that you want to give. Uh, another cool thing they incorporate it and you can do this via voice or by the remote. They have some, you know, quick audio adjustments you can do to optimize for movie, sports, and music. You push one of these and it optimizes the equalizer in here to uh, best suit that particular type of thing, which is pretty cool. And like I said, you can either push it on the button or you can just say out loud, movie mode music mode and it just it automatically puts it into that mode two more things that i'm going to mention that are probably some of my favorite things about this they must have sent this speaker to hogwarts or something because there's some wizardry going on in here it works with pretty much all remotes it was really crazy um they put some stuff in here to where when i put this thing on i grabbed my apple tv remote and hit the volume and it turned the volume up and down on this thing i grabbed my tv remote and hit the volume hit the volume on this thing so gone are the days of which remote Remote. That's the big thing in this house. Which damn remote? My wife gets totally been out of shape about there being 15 remotes because I got one for the amp, one for the TV, one for the lights, one for this, one for that, one for the chair, one for the ceiling fit. One, it, it gets it gets frustrating. Well, this cuts down on that. You can use this remote. You can use whatever remotes in your hand. Your cable remote. It, it, they all work. All the ones that in my house have worked. Good job on that one, Polk. The other thing they did that is an ongoing battle in my household. I don't know if any of you guys have had this problem, is you can just turn the dialogue up. Happens to me all the time, it drives my wife completely up a wall. I'll be trying to watch a show, and when they're talking, they're talking like this, and you can't hear anything, so all the audio sounds like it's screwed up, so that it's like this, so you can barely hear anything. So then I turn it up so that the volume of the voices is like normal. Well, then when the action starts, stuff's blowing up. It said the balls are shaking. Windows are rattling. The neighbor's kids are crying because it woke up the baby. Everything's, pictures are rattling off the walls. 
because the vocals on the dialogue is so much lower than the music and the action that it's cra my wife gets so irritated with me because I'll be watching TV and I keep cranking it up and cranking because I can't hear the daggum voices. The action sequence happens, Jesus, Lord, it's the end of the world. It's Armageddon through the TV. That's really frustrating, right? They incorporated the option you can just turn up the dialogue. You can watch a movie, you can watch a show, and if you have that situation, you just turn the dialogue up. It doesn't affect the music, it doesn't affect the explosions, it just turns the voices up to equalize that so you can hear what the hell is going on. Thank you, Polk. You could have saved my marriage. I appreciate you. In all seriousness, though, really, really cool feature. I thought that was really neat. Uh, and the fit and finish on this thing, no complaints. Fit and finishes is, is top notch. Really, really happy with this. I think it's really a, a very cool thing they came out with. You know, for you guys who don't want to run speaker wire all over, you, you plop this under your TV, you plug it into your, your HDMI's and stuff, you put your subwoofer somewhere else in the room, and you've got really nice, good sounding television. Now for the bad. There's always bad, right? Uh, I always try to bring and be honest with you guys and bring up any negatives. Honestly, I haven't had this for a long, long time. Like I said, this is a brand new product. I think it's releasing today or tomorrow, depending on when I get this video edited and out. And I'll link below uh, where you can get it on Amazon and everything so you guys can find it. But like I said, I haven't had it long, so I can't speak to the longevity of it. I have no problem with the sound quality. It was sufficiently loud. I think it sounded really good. No issues there. The only issues I had, the only thing I'm going to gripe about a little bit, I had to go on there, I had to download an app, and I had to get a uh, sign on uh, email and a password to get an account to set it up, a Polk Audio account. It's a pretty minor thing, and the setup was actually really quite fluid and flawless through the app that they have to set this thing up. But, you know, it is a little annoying to have to set up an account uh, just to, you know, get something working. So, you know, not my favorite thing. It hooks up like most other smart devices. It all walks you right through it step by step, links to your Amazon account for your Echo to activate and sync with your other ones. Really pretty flawless setup, but it did kind of irk me just a little bit that I had to download an app and sign up with an account and all that stuff. Other than that, I'm, I'm actually been pretty happy with it. The one other thing I will say, and this isn't in the negative columns, this is just me being real. This is not going to replace a full on 5.1 or 6.1 or you know one of those kind of big surround sounds where you got speakers behind you. This is a two 2.1 system. It does have DTS decoder in it and all that stuff, which is really awesome and it sounds great. Don't get me wrong, but it's not going to replace it if you're the type of person that has a home theater room and you want that full five point run surround sound. Uh, it doesn't have rear channels that it's separating from the front channel. So it's not for that, that kind of thing. This is for people that want a very clean and simple all in one fix to give you great audio, incorporate your echo keep everything clean and have a nice subwoofer that's wireless that kind of situation now am i going to unplug all of my surround sound stuff and use this instead no absolutely not but i do have a couple tvs that i don't have surround sound currently on and this dude's gonna go on it so very impressed with polk audio really good job you guys so that is the brand new Polk Audio command bar. So that's it for me today, guys. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you did, smash that like button. That helps us out a lot. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. As always, if you have any questions, put them down below in the little. I hope everybody has a great weekend and we will see you in the next video. You know, they told me they were sending me a sound bar and I thought I was getting, you know, a sound bar. This package is huge and it's really weirdly shaped. It's kind of shaped like a big guitar case because it's got this big long part with this thing sticking out. It reminded me of the big guitar case from Desperado, Anthony Banderas. Anthony. Antonio Banderas carried around. You could, you know, machine gun. It was, it was a huge case. I was not expecting the, the box to be that big.